Hello, my name is Adrian Kennard and I'm going to show you how to use two-factor authentication on the Andrews and Arnold account system. The first step is I'm going to need an app on my phone. So I'm going to search for TOTP, which stands for Timed One-Time Password. There are loads of apps. Now we know Google Authenticator works. I'm going to pick one up, there's one here, Sophos one. There are lots of them about, so I will install the app and we're running the app. And now it's saying there's no accounts and there's an option at the bottom here to scan a QR code. Now I'm going to log into the account system. As you can see, I've got details of my account and I'm going to look at the setup two-factor authentication. And the first thing you'll see is it's not enabled. So I shall enable it. And what it wants me to do is enter an authenticator code which is going to be sent to my number. So I click SMS code. It says it's sent. So I've received a code. It says this is the one-time password authenticator code from Andrews and Arnold. Please take count in the code. And it says 212050. So I'll enter the code. Now it shows me some trust settings I can change and a QR code which I can scan into the application. So let's scan that. Wants access to my camera, understandable. Pointed at the code and it's come up with a number 799518 in this case. So I will enter that on the screen. And it says two factor authentication, you now have it enabled and you can make changes to your settings. There are several settings. You probably want something like standard or maybe security to ask every time. You can set a paranoid mode. If you do that, you will not be sent the code by SMS again, and our staff will know you've selected this, so they will be very cautious if you phone up or email or ask them on IRC, and they will ask you to supply a code so that they can be sure it's you. Now, let's log back in to my account just like I did before, except this time it says two-factor authentication code. Now, now I did select paranoid mode this time, so the only option is to log in with the code or to give up and log out. If I hadn't selected paranoid mode, you would see this. As you can see, in this mode, I have the option of sending a text, but I shouldn't need to because it's on my phone. So let's get the code from my phone. I select the app, and there it is on the screen. Now some apps might want a fingerprint or something, but this one doesn't, and you'll see the code changes. It changes every 30 seconds. So I'll put that code in, 647383. And there you go, I'm logged in as normal. So there you go, it's really very simple, and it adds extra security. It's two-factor authentication, because it's something you know, your account number and your password, and something you have, the settings on your phone. And without both of those, you can't log in. Thank you for watching.